Hello, my friends. I'm wearing my equality shirt because it is June. It's Gay Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. I hope you have been enjoying your weekend. I um, am mostly sane, but Mia has been driving me crazy recently. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it, but first a brief reminder, please go to PerezTour.com if you haven't done so yet, and let me know what city I should take my podcast to. We're doing live podcast recordings, Q and A's, and meet and greets, PerezTour.com. All right, right to it. You know that saying, the terrible twos? Well, I don't think the terrible twos is real. It's really about the terrible threes. Mia has been testing me, and that just seems to be a recurring theme with her. She's the middle child. She's the first girl. There's another girl after her. I get it. There's a lot of issues, and this week a lot of things came to a boil and leaked out, and she learned a lot, and I learned a lot, and we're working through this together. But I think my biggest takeaway this week is She's still a baby. And I gotta remind myself that, even though Mia is really big and tall for her age, she's still a baby. She's my baby. And I let her know she's loved, and whenever I see moments of jealousy happen, in, happening, which still happens, I give her her love and attention, and I compliment her, and I hold her, and I'll give her what she needs in that moment. But thankfully, um, a positive is that uh, her relationship with her sister has improved so much. Mia now loves playing with Maite. Uh, I posted that video on Wednesday. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Uh, Mia is very maternal towards Maite now. But Mia, at three, a lot of the bad things that she was doing at two are still here and have gotten worse. And I'm not just talking about wetting herself, which that kept, kept, keeps happening. So that was a lesson for me. She was telling me that she wasn't ready to sleep overnight without her diaper. Even though she has done it a lot and I celebrated her so much after every time she had a successful evening of not wetting the bed, but this week, like three nights of wed, 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 bed wedding, and I just said to myself, you know what? She's letting me know she's not ready yet. So as a parent, you know, one of the most important things for you to do is to listen to your kids. And it's not necessarily about what you want for them or if you think they're ready. They need to be ready for things. They need to want to do it and she wants to do it, but she's not ready. So we have put the diapers back on at night. And here's the great thing. And told her, go to the bathroom, even though you have the diaper on. And she did. Last night, she did it. And that's what prompted this video. So I applauded her and celebrated her for that. But I'm still going to keep the diaper on her at night for a while. <sighs> And that's, that's fine. That's, that I can deal with. I think I, I dealt with that. We dealt with that. We moved past it. The real issue is I've spoken before about Mia's lying. And some people tell me that lying is a great sign of intelligence. Lying is lying, okay? Donald Trump does a lot of lying, and I would not say that he's a very smart man. So yeah, Mia lies a lot specifically when she does something wrong and then she'll do two things that I'm trying to correct and it's so hard you know when she does something wrong she'll go hide and I tell her please tell me when you break something tell me when something bad happens but the opposite happens like she will pretend it didn't happen she'll run away she she, she won't want to be near me and then I know something's up and the other thing is, like, if she is playing with her sister or her brother and she accidentally hits them, or even worse, like with her brother, if she hits her brother on purpose, she'll lie to me and say it was an accident. 
and I'm there some of the times and I see it. I'm like, don't lie to me. Do not lie to me. Do not lie to me. I will not tolerate that. You're three. You're a grown lady. I get it. She's still a baby, but it's really important to train them to be honest and that it's okay. You know, I would rather she be honest and we work through things and we correct than me getting really angry because she's lying to me. <sighs> it's exhausting. Parenting is hard, especially because I'm a single parent, so I have to be both good cop and bad cop. And this week it's been a lot of bad cop with Mia. I had to take away the presents that I gave her on Monday, which is her little tea party set. I'm gonna give it back to her today because she was good about going to the bathroom overnight and not wetting her diaper even though she wore a diaper and she could have. So yeah, the terrible threes. But I still love her, obviously. And she's a great kid and her teachers say wonderful, beautiful, fabulous things about her. So it's part of growing up. I don't remember her brother being this much of a liar though. <laughs> then again, uh, as I established in my video yesterday, I think I have like just short term memory. Like uh, I could b barely remember Tuesday. Like, what did I do Tuesday? I did the podcast Tuesday. I remember that. But, you know, it's hard to remember what was happening three years ago when her brother was around her age. But yeah, me as a firecracker, she always has been. But she's a doll, and we're working through our things. What else about her? Anything else that I want to add? Um... Yeah, no, everything else is good, and I love seeing her play with her brother, too. And actually, this is the new thing. Yes, this is the new thing. She's really started to play on her own, and that's so... It's one of my favorite things to do, in addition to playing with my kids myself, is at this age, watching them play. It's so beautiful, and I love hearing her speak and the things she'll say in Spanish, and sometimes she'll make up songs, and... Yeah, it's really awesome. And her brother's got his own issues, but I'll save that for another video. <laughs> I'll do that next weekend, one on her brother. Uh, and Maite, all is good with her. She's even teething some more. I, I, made, I, put, I posted her video on Wednesday. Happy to have mom back, all is good with her. I've been messaging somebody on my dating site. Hopefully we'll meet up. That would be nice. Ah! Oh, oh God, I'm just like saving, not the best. Is 28 too young for me? I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I'm 40, is 28 too young? I guess it depends on the 28 and also in the video that I made uh, with my mom talking about her love story with my dad, they had a 12 year age gap. I really don't wanna be dating that much younger though. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm gonna meet this guy. We've just been talking. Um, is 28 too young? I guess I'll have to meet him and decide for myself. Thankfully he's employed and seems like a great guy. So hopefully we'll meet up soon, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't happen. I should just take the initiative and be like, yo, let's meet up already. Enough back and forth. Um, but yeah, what else? That, I'm excited because I've been, you know, 100 on my fitness. My goal is to be healthy until Father's Day, which is a couple of weeks away. Because by then, I'll have been four weeks clean. And that's when you really get results. When you go multiple weeks without a single cheat day. Boom, boom, chakalaka. I'm feeling so good. And I can't say for sure the exact date, but most likely sometime this week, I'm gonna make a really exciting, big 
big announcement. It's not the tour. It's something else that I think you will love. I hope you'll, I know, I know you will love. And it's something very different. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching this video. You are a rock star. You know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, I make videos here on this channel and my main channel as well, five days a week. Hit the subscribe button if you're not following me yet. And also it'd be so helpful if you hit the like button below, leave a comment and share this video. Thank you. Mwah.